Bonnie Bia Bessie Bia, yes, Emia, oh, yes, Emia, Miss One, yes, Emmy, I call Levy of Bessie Bia, yes, Emia, oh, yes, Emia, now Miss One, yes, Emmy, I find the massacre, oh, massacre, Wendy massacre, me coyanya me juma. Hello, greetings to you, ladies and gentlemen of Ghana. I'm Janice Miller, and today I'm here with Showbiz Arena with a few questions. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Who is Janice Miller? Yes. Janice Miller is a dreamer. Janice Miller was somebody who wanted to do things that were impossible, things that not everyone else was doing. I knew since I was little that the first choice if I could do anything was to sing and do music. That was my dream. I did live my dream for 30 years. child watching Indian films at the local theaters. took a strong interest in singing Indian songs from Bollywood films and I uh, had a dream about making it a career which I didn't really know I could and um, it turns out that after returning to the US uh, I did get an opportunity and got into the community and started uh, singing Indian Bollywood songs for audiences and then later on went to do uh, Pakistani folk songs which were in Punjabi and they were more difficult. These Punjabi folk songs took my career to an entirely different place and I found myself in the spotlight and I uh, did many shows all over the US and Canada and also in Europe. For about 18 years I made a living at uh, singing Indian and Punjabi folk 
and Pakistani songs, and that turned out to be a dream come true for me. So it means that I was able to live my dream for almost 20 years. How long I've been doing music, yes. How long I've been doing music, about 30 years now. And like I said before, 20 years of that was um, living my dream, singing Bollywood and Punjabi folk for East Indian and uh, Asian audiences all over the world. And that was uh, something amazing. It was a journey that I took that uh, never in my dreams would have thought could have came true. But I lived it. And after that, I got an idea. Since I grew up in Ghana, I decided to try Ghanaian songs. And I speak two Ghanaian languages fluently. So I thought, why not take up singing Ghanaian music instead, since I understood the languages. How many albums? Up to date, I have two albums. The first one is titled Sentimental Moments, and that is a compilation of Bollywood songs from the Indian films back in the 80s and 70s, made into R&B music. I had a dream to, you know, infuse the Indian music and the R&B in the U.S. and uh, bring it to life. Since the technology wasn't so good for Indian music back then and it was more advanced in the U.S. and I loved both genres, I thought why not infuse them together and see how they would turn out. And that was an album that was titled Sentimental Moments due to the fact that the songs of the films were some of my favorite and they had great sentimental value to me since I was growing up in Ghana during those days and the films and the Bollywood Hindi films meant a lot to me and uh, had a great influence in my life. And the second album is titled Ranja. Ranja is a Pakistani folk Punjabi Urdu album compiled of folk songs, techno, guzzles, and uh, semi-classicals, and bhangra. All kinds of varieties of music that I had got uh, produced in Pakistan. And that album was also in process. There are many videos on YouTube that you can see.